Hey, how's it going? Paul of here, Styrene Relics. Uh, my small scale group build. This is the Corvette I'm going to use, 1960 Corvette. Um, I wish it had a hard top to it, but I don't have that. It doesn't come with the kit. Uh, so, anyways, I'm showing this because <clears throat> here's my plan. I'll, I'll, my my game plan is to cut on this car and show you what, how I'm cutting it and, and what I'm doing because I'm going to make a custom out of it. Uh, my my plan is to uh, try and copy a car that was built back in the, in the early 60s and it made it into, uh, I believe it was the Oakland Roadshow. So here we go. Larry Watson built this for uh, LeVon Bremers. And uh, that's the plan. I'm going to try and do that with this little car. So, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of history on it. She bought the car and uh, wanted it customized. So they started doing little little pieces at a time. And uh, it looked pretty cool. But apparently, I didn't read the whole thing, but she wanted a little bit more done to it. So, looks like they removed the taillights. And added them up on the roof. Uh, then they cut the grill out and uh, put a big grill up front and uh, changed up the, the side a little bit. And then down here at the bottom, you'll notice that they have a, a scoop coming out right here. That's going to be for the side pipes. There they are working on it. This looks like the finished product right here. That's what I'm going to try to achieve. My only problem is I don't have any uh, uh, chrome reverse <laughs> wheels for a 132nd, but uh, I've got an idea. I, I've got some uh, some little moon hu moon hubcaps that I'll put over the, the stock wheel hubcaps, and it gives it a pretty good look. So anyway, let me uh, tell you what my plan is for the back. Since I don't have a roof for it, this kit didn't come with it, uh, I can't put the taillights up there. So I'm thinking about putting some round taillights right in here or down in here. Uh, really, I'm kind of looking about putting them down in here because uh, I'm thinking this is going to look so clean. And if I put a taillight up there, it's going to break up the, the cleanliness of it. So... Uh, I'm probably going to try and put some taillights down in here, some little round ones. I've got some material for that, so that's the plan with that. The uh, the side, you know how it has that big scoop that comes down. Uh, I've got some styrene. I'll try and mimic this. And, uh, of course, i got to take all the chrome trim off it, remove all of that. So we'll we'll get that done. Another back shot. Side shot. Now this one, you can see the side pipes coming out here. Uh, it looks like they've got it painted white underneath back here. And the car, when it was finished, it made it onto May of 1963 hot rod issue. Uh, it was a two-page article, it looked like, so that's kind of neat. She, uh, she did all right there. What I, uh, and what I'm thinking about doing this right here, um, you guys have seen those, uh, uh, coffee filters with, the uh, that you can reuse over and over and over again. Well, that mesh in there is pretty fine. And I'm thinking, I haven't looked yet, but that's my plan is to use that mesh. Um, if I, if I, if I've got some kicking around, uh, and what I'll do, I've got this little guy right here this little grill and that's the plan is to put that grill up in there if I can cut the center of it out or make my own surround I'll use that mesh but if not I'm going to use this grill here it's not going to be exactly right but I have it and it'll be an easy way to you know finish that out another cool thing that I was looking at on this one is right up in here looks like they put like a some kind of a stainless or shiny 
aluminum uh, deal up in there so that it would shine up. A lot of times those guys would put like a, a padded tuck and roll, you know, white pleated thing up in there. I thought about painting it white, but I might try and make something like that and put up in there as well. But this all back in here looks like it's painted white. If you see the pictures, you can see it better on this picture for sure. So, yeah. And then uh, the headlights. I was digging through all my stuff. Never throw anything away, guys, ever. <laughs> I found some tiny little headlights. I found some tiny little clear lights, lenses. Let's go with that. That will almost fit in there. They're a little bit big, so I'm going to sand them down and see if I can push them in there and French those in. I'm not going to extend those. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out the headlights on the on the front and then try to push those up inside. Uh, this little piece right here, um, I'm not so sure if I'm going to put that on or not. I just might just leave this rounded. And then these turn signals, uh, I'm going to have to cut in for that. I'd like to save the ones that are on it, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Later on, she changed out the grill to this. Uh, looks like she didn't remove the French look on the headlight. See how these are in a little bit farther. So they've changed up the front just a little bit. I like it. I like the headlights Frenched in a little deeper than what these are. They're, just looks flat. It doesn't look finished with, to me. So 19... I was wrong. This is a Long Beach and the custom Motorama in 1963. Uh, I'm, I'm going to blow this up, guys. That's a cool pick. <laughs> I like that. 1963. Everybody knows that car. Uh, let me see. It says that she, her car is right, right here. Okay. And there's a T-Bird right in front of it. Okay, but that's her car right there, and uh, that's just super, super cool. So anyways, let me shrink it down just a tick. That's my plan. This is later on in life when they were finished, you know, how things go evolve into different cars and that. Uh, I'm not too crazy about this paint scheme, so anyways, that's the plan, guys. I just thought I'd show you uh, what I want to do. I want to try to do that Larry Watson build on that little Corvette. So, time to start cutting. Talk to you later. Bye.